Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India and in this video I'm going to talk about a serious question about batch programming that why we have to use plugins in batch programming? Can't we do without plugins or simple batch programming? I have made some points in order to answer this question. So let's see them each one by one. So using plugins in your batch program it will make your life easier so as I have created a recent patch project named resistor decoder and it is only off excuse me for a while so we were talking about how batch plugins make your life easier so I was giving an example of my recent batch project resistor decoder as you can see it is only of 6 kb of batch batch program and if you will see the length of the code it's not that much lengthier but the work it can do is very extraordinary as as you can see that i am displaying an image and a box blinking box so it is checking for each mouse movement it is checking where the mouse is and for each mouse click it is changing the value of the current configuration of the resistor so let me change change it to brown and it is changing its value so as you know that with pure batch it is impossible to do it is impossible to load an image file and showing a box with pixels so using this using batch plugins the code becomes so much smaller of 6 kb only and it saves your time and space also so with the second point you can do smart code instead of hard code so instead of defining what Im an image file in the batch program you just need to use a patch plugin which will simply load the image file into the console that is insert BMP so it is only 15 KB of code batch batch code batch plugin which will load your image file so you don't need to worry about loading an image in the batch now so you can do a smart code instead of hard code it space it saves the space and time too because if you if your code is smaller it saves the space on your hard disk and if it is smaller it saves your time too advanced implementation impossible with pure batch you can do some advanced implementations like making an app in batch that is so much advanced and a ai in batch and something like that with only plugins that is impossible with pure batch so the condition with the less the condition of plugins makes advanced implementation possible if you are using smart code that is short code instead of longer codes then you you have less errors in the code and it's easy to shareable because you just need to either compile all these files together or just simply share the share them into a folder and the easy it is easy shareable the programs become the easy shareable you can easily update the programs like in one of my video I have shown that how to update resistor decoders database like the name of that video is dynamic coding versus static coding you can have a look at that and you will understand the point of updatability and customization also so these two points are easily explained there extends the area of batch programming so as you can see it has overcome the most of the limitations of batch so it has extend the area of batch programming and now you can think of bigger batch projects than this i hope you understand my points and the you like the way i explain things feel free to comment and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye